Imagine a star billions of miles away, shining brightly in the night sky. Over time, this star exhausts its fuel, unable to sustain its brilliant glow. The result? A catastrophic explosion and event known as a supernova. This dazzling, yet devastating phenomenon marks the end of a star's life. And it's a powerful analogy for what happens when a Sigma empath reaches their breaking point with a narcissist. Just as a supernova transforms a star's life into a breathtaking explosion, a Sigma empath's emotional supernova can shake the very foundation of their relationship with a narcissist. But why does this happen? And why are narcissists so terrified of this particular transformation? Today, we're diving deep into the reasons behind it. In the context of relationships, a Sigma empath supernova occurs when a Sigma empath, who has been continuously giving and sacrificing their energy and empathy, finally reaches their limit. This dramatic shift signifies a complete change in behavior, often triggered by the relentless abuse and manipulation from a narcissist. When this breaking point is reached, the empath's response can be so intense and transformative that it disrupts and damages the narcissist's world beyond repair. In this video, we'll explore why this powerful shift is so frightening to narcissists and how the Sigma Empath Supernova can have such a profound impact. From withdrawing unconditional love to asserting their own needs, we'll uncover the 10 key reasons narcissists fear the Sigma Empath Supernova. So, stay tuned as we unravel this fascinating and empowering phenomenon. Number 1. The Withdrawal of Unconditional Love Let's dive into how the Sigma Empath Supernova starts with a significant and often painful change, the withdrawal of unconditional love. Imagine you've been the sun in someone's world, giving warmth and light without asking for anything in return. This is what Sigma Empaths do in their relationships with narcissists. They provide endless support and affection, often sacrificing their own well-being to make the narcissist feel valued and secure. But what happens when the Sigma Empath decides they've had enough? When a Sigma Empath finally reaches their limit, they stop giving that constant stream of love and attention. It's like suddenly pulling the plug on a life support machine. Narcissists rely heavily on this unconditional love. It's their main source of emotional energy and validation. When it's withdrawn, they're left struggling to fill the void, which can be deeply unsettling. They feel abandoned, lost, and incredibly vulnerable. This sudden shift can trigger a harsh reaction from the narcissist. They might respond with anger or blame, desperately trying to regain control or manipulate the empath back into their previous role. They may lash out, attempt to guilt trip, or even threaten, all in a bid to restore their emotional supply. But despite their attempts, the impact of the empath's withdrawal is profound and often irreversible. The narcissist's once steady source of validation is gone, and with it, their sense of security begins to crumble. Number 2. The Decision to Leave Next, let's explore a turning point that can be both dramatic and crucial in the Sigma Empath's journey, the decision to leave. Picture this, you've been caught in a storm for years, constantly battered by the fierce winds and relentless rain of a narcissistic relationship. The storm has drained your strength, and you've been looking for a way out, but the thought of leaving seemed nearly impossible. Then, something shifts. The storm grows fiercer, and suddenly you realize that staying means sacrificing yourself further. This realization ignites your supernova. When a Sigma empath reaches this point, they often decide it's time to leave the relationship. This isn't just about walking away from a person, it's about reclaiming their own life and well-being. Leaving a narcissist isn't an easy decision, especially for someone who naturally avoids abandoning others. But once the empath reaches their breaking point, they recognize that staying could mean further harm. For a narcissist, this decision can be devastating. They fear abandonment more than almost anything else. To them, being left is not just a personal setback, it's an attack on their very sense of worth. They may react by trying to manipulate the empath back into the relationship, using threats or emotional blackmail. Despite these attempts, the choice to leave is often the healthiest option for the empath. It's a bold step towards self-preservation and a powerful statement of self-respect. In the end, the empath's departure is a critical moment of clarity and strength that forces the narcissist to confront their own vulnerabilities. 
Number three, refusal to be manipulated. Now, let's turn our attention to another key aspect of the Sigma Empath Supernova, their refusal to be manipulated. Imagine you're a puppet on strings with every move and emotion controlled by someone else. That's often what life feels like for an empath caught in a narcissistic relationship. Narcissists are skilled at pulling these strings, using tactics like gaslighting and victim blaming to keep their partners under control. They twist reality and deflect blame to ensure the empath remains confused and compliant. But what happens when the Sigma empath finally sees through the manipulations? It's as if the strings are cut and the puppet becomes free. The empath starts to reject these deceitful tactics, refusing to be controlled by lies or false accusations. This change can be both empowering and frightening. For the narcissist, losing their grip on their empathic partner is like losing their power source. They rely on control and deceit to maintain their sense of superiority, and when this is stripped away, it hits them hard. The narcissist's response can be aggressive and defensive. They may escalate their manipulations, resort to angry outbursts, or even try more extreme measures to regain control. Despite their attempts, the empath's refusal to be manipulated is a significant blow to the narcissist's ego. It reveals their vulnerabilities and shakes their carefully constructed facade. In this battle, the empath's newfound strength and clarity become a formidable weapon, challenging the narcissist's ability to dominate and deceive. Number 4. Using Knowledge Against the Narcissist Now, let's delve into how the Sigma Empath Supernova can turn the tables by using their deep understanding of the narcissist's weaknesses. Imagine you're a detective piecing together clues about a complex case. Over time, you've observed every detail of the narcissist's behavior, learning their secrets, their insecurities, and their hidden flaws. The narcissist has been so focused on maintaining their false image that they've overlooked the empath quietly gathering insights into their vulnerabilities. When the Sigma empath reaches their supernova, they can use this knowledge to counteract the narcissist's manipulative tactics. It's like turning the spotlight on a magician's tricks, exposing the hidden mechanisms behind the illusion. For instance, if the narcissist is notorious for pretending to be perfect, the empath might reveal their less flattering traits or contradictions. This revelation can be highly damaging to the narcissist's carefully crafted public image. The impact on the narcissist is profound. They fear losing their facade of superiority and control, and public exposure of their flaws threatens their sense of power. In response, the narcissist might retaliate fiercely, trying to discredit or attack the empath to restore their tarnished image. The empath must be prepared for this potential backlash, knowing that their bravery in exposing the truth can lead to conflict. Despite this, using their knowledge to shed light on the narcissist's true nature is a powerful way for the empath to reclaim their power and disrupt the narcissist's grip. Number 5. Exposing Lies Let's explore another crucial moment in the Sigma Empath Supernova, exposing the narcissist's lies. Imagine you've been living in a world where truth is constantly twisted and reality is shaped by someone else's deceitful narrative. This is what it's like for an empath entangled with a narcissist who weaves a web of lies to manipulate and control. The narcissist creates a facade of perfection and blames others for any problems, all while hiding their own flaws and falsehoods. When the Sigma empath reaches their breaking point, they start to see through this web of deception. Armed with the truth, they confront the narcissist and lay bare their lies. Picture a spotlight shining on the dark corners of a stage, illuminating the hidden tricks and deceit. By exposing these falsehoods, the empath reveals the narcissist's true nature, breaking the illusion they've so carefully maintained. The impact on the narcissist is immediate and intense. They are fiercely protective of their image and credibility, and having their lies exposed can be devastating. It threatens their ability to manipulate and maintain control, undermining their sense of superiority. In response, the narcissist may lash out with even more lies or become aggressively defensive, trying to salvage their reputation. The empath must be ready for this retaliation, knowing that revealing the truth can spark further conflict. However, by exposing the lies, the empath takes a powerful stand against deceit and reclaims their own narrative, challenging the narcissist's false reality. 
Number 6. Prioritizing themselves. Let's explore another powerful shift in the Sigma Empath Supernova prioritizing themselves. Imagine living your life constantly putting others' needs before your own, always striving to make everyone around you happy. This is the world of a Sigma Empath in a relationship with a narcissist. They pour their energy into caring for the narcissist, often at the expense of their own well-being. But when the empath reaches their breaking point, something changes dramatically. Suddenly, the empath starts to shift their focus. They begin to prioritize their own needs, health and happiness. It's like a gardener who has tended to everyone else's plants, but finally decides to care for their own neglected garden. This new self-focus can be a startling change for both the empath and the narcissist. For the narcissist, this shift is deeply unsettling. They're used to being the center of attention and the sole recipient of admiration and care. When the empath starts to say no and puts themselves first, it's as if their entire world is upended. The narcissist feels their control slipping away, which can provoke feelings of anger and frustration. They may respond with attempts to reassert dominance or criticize the empath's new priorities, trying to pull them back into their old role. Despite the potential for conflict, this change is crucial for the empath. By putting themselves first, they start to reclaim their power and well-being. This shift challenges the narcissist's sense of control and forces them to confront the reality that their source of admiration and energy is no longer at their beck and call. For the empath, prioritizing themselves is a key step in their journey to healing and self-empowerment. Number 7. Reaching out for support. Let's dive into a crucial step in the Sigma Empath Supernova reaching out for support. Imagine a ship stranded in a stormy sea, battered by waves and isolated from any sign of land. That's often how a Sigma Empath feels when caught in a relationship with a narcissist who isolates them from friends and loved ones. The narcissist's goal is to keep the Empath alone and dependent, making it easier to control and manipulate them. But once the Sigma Empath's supernova is triggered, they begin to look beyond the confines of their isolated world. They start to reconnect with friends, seek advice, and share their experiences. It's like the ship finally spotting a lighthouse in the distance, guiding them towards safety. By reaching out to others, the Empath begins to counteract the narcissist's efforts to keep them isolated. For the narcissist, this shift is alarming. They rely on isolation as a tool to maintain control and ensure that their victim has nowhere else to turn. When the empath starts rebuilding their support network, it challenges the narcissist's ability to dominate their world. This newfound support helps the empath regain strength and confidence, making it harder for the narcissist to exert influence. As the empath connects with others and draws strength from their support system, the narcissist's hold weakens and the empath's path to recovery becomes clearer. Number 8. Ceasing to Care Let's explore a pivotal moment in the Sigma Empath Supernova Ceasing to Care. Imagine a well that has been providing water for years, constantly replenishing a garden that never seems to flourish. This well, representing the Sigma Empath's emotional investment, has been pouring out love, concern, and support into a relationship with a narcissist. But eventually, the well starts to run dry, the empath begins to recognize that their care is being used and exploited, rather than appreciated. As the empath's supernova erupts, they start to withdraw their emotional investment. It's like turning off a faucet that's been running non-stop. The empath stops giving energy to the narcissist, reducing the emotional support they've been providing. This shift is both freeing and empowering for the empath. By pulling back, they begin to reclaim their own emotional strength and sense of control. For the narcissist, this change is deeply unsettling. They've thrived on the empath's caring nature, using it to manipulate and control. When the empath stops caring, it feels like the ground has been pulled from under them. Their usual tactics of drawing emotional support and validation fall flat. The narcissist's need for constant admiration and care remains unmet, exposing their vulnerability and eroding their power. In this new dynamic, the Empath's decision to cease caring marks a significant turning point, allowing them to regain their power and break free from the cycle of exploitation. Number 9. Limiting Time Spent Together 
Now, let's explore a key shift in the Sigma Empath Supernova limiting the time spent with the narcissist. Imagine a person who has always been a constant presence in someone's life, always there to listen, support, and provide companionship. This is how a Sigma Empath might feel in a relationship with a narcissist, where their time and attention are endlessly demanded. The narcissist thrives on this constant engagement, using the Empath's availability to maintain control and feed their own ego. As the empath supernova unfolds, they start to make a conscious effort to spend less time with the narcissist. It's like slowly stepping away from a demanding shadow, reclaiming space and time for themselves. They might find new hobbies, reconnect with friends, or simply set boundaries on their availability. This change is not just about physical distance, but also about emotional detachment. For the narcissist, this reduction in time and attention is jarring. They've grown accustomed to having the Empath's undivided focus and use this to keep their emotional needs met. When the Empath starts to limit their presence, it disrupts the Narcissist's sense of stability and control. They're left scrambling to fill the void, which can lead to frustration and attempts to manipulate the Empath back into their old role. Despite these efforts, the Empath's choice to limit their time is a powerful way to regain their own space and disrupt the Narcissist's emotional supply. Number 10 asserting themselves. Finally, let's dive into one of the most transformative aspects of the Sigma Empath Supernova asserting themselves. Picture a quiet, serene lake that has always reflected the sky perfectly, undisturbed by waves or ripples. This lake represents the Sigma Empath, who has long kept their needs and boundaries to themselves, quietly absorbing the demands of a narcissistic relationship. But as the supernova unfolds, the calm surface of the lake is suddenly disturbed by a series of bold waves. The empath begins to assert their own needs and set clear boundaries. This shift is powerful. The empath starts to speak up, express their feelings and demand respect. They're no longer willing to be a passive participant in the relationship. It's like the lake, once still, now being stirred into action by strong currents. The narcissist, who thrives on control and superiority, finds this assertiveness deeply unsettling. They're accustomed to having their way and are uncomfortable when anyone challenges their authority or questions their behavior. The impact on the narcissist is significant. They're forced to confront their own insecurities and flaws, something they're desperately trying to avoid. This confrontation can lead to intense conflict as the narcissist attempts to reassert their dominance or retaliate against the empath's newfound strength. The empath's assertiveness not only disrupts the narcissist's control, but also marks a critical turning point in reclaiming their own power and self-respect. As they continue to assert their needs and boundaries, the empath is building a foundation for a healthier, more empowered future. To wrap up, Let's recap the 10 reasons why narcissists are afraid of the Sigma Empath supernova. From the moment the Sigma Empath begins to withdraw their unconditional love, the narcissist's world starts to unravel. As the Empath decides to leave, they strike a blow to the narcissist's fragile sense of self. By refusing to be manipulated and using their deep understanding of the narcissist's weaknesses, they further challenge the narcissist's control. Exposing lies and reducing their emotional investment shakes the narcissist's confidence, while limiting time spent together disrupts their emotional supply. Finally, asserting their own needs and boundaries forces the narcissist to face their insecurities head-on. These powerful shifts reveal just how disruptive a Sigma Empath supernova can be to a narcissist. It challenges their control, exposes their true nature, and ultimately helps the empath reclaim their own power and self-worth. I'd love to hear from you, share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content on navigating narcissistic relationships and empowering yourself. Thank you so much for watching. For additional resources on dealing with narcissism and building self-confidence, check out the links in the description. Your journey to empowerment is important, and I'm here to support you every step of the way. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching, and stay blessed.